Uh, my name is Chad Stocknick. I'm the project manager from Walt Disney Imagineering, and we're in front of uh, Under the Sea, Journey of the Little Mermaid in the Ma new Magic Kingdom expansion. Can you talk a little about how the idea for this ride came about? Well, it comes all these, all of our attractions come from our, our classic stories. This comes from the classic story, The Little Mermaid, of course. Uh, we took that as our basis and built upon that to bring uh, that story to life for our guests. Can you talk a little about the process, especially from a technology standpoint of how you guys develop from story to actual ride? Uh, when we develop the story, it's, again, it comes from our blue sky. We, we're, it's an easy start. We, we've got that story. Uh, when we put it into design and construction, there are new tools that we've used, uh, 3D modeling, virtual modeling that uh, we've used to create this, this seaside landscape behind us that uh, have evolved since we built uh, mountains like uh, Matterhorn or Expedition, Ever Expedition Everest. One of the things that I've heard is tablets have really come in handy when it comes to being on location. How did you guys employ them here? We've taken the model to the field through the tablets. We've got a 3D model and our craftspeople can take that to the field and use it to verify that design. Can you explain what Blue Sky means? Blue Sky essentially is throwing every idea on the table to, to start the, the creative process of uh, developing one of these attractions from the story. And when it comes to developing this, once you guys had the tablets and the technology, what's the process like from that point on? Uh, this, we broke ground about three years ago and we started the uh, design process about a year and a half before that. So we've taken it, we start with Blue Sky, it evolves into a concept and it evolves into a de developed design and essentially we get to the same place where we have blueprints and uh, 3D models that we take to the field and uh, permit and complete the design process. Now I understand uh, the Imagineers in California have uh, virtual technology, 3D virtual technology. Do you guys employ that early on for a ride like this to see what it looks like and ride through it before it's actually built? Of course, yes, definitely. We, uh, we our creative team and our, our construction team to get a better idea of what they're building have uh, have been through that. And not only that happens in rides, but it also happens in our kitchens, our restaurants, our stores. We're we're really taking that 3D technology to the next level. How detailed are the 3D renders you guys can create from that perspective to, to see what the attraction or the venue is going to look like? All of the rock work behind us was created in a 3D model. So we've taken and, and even our creative team has massaged that model to get the, the, the detail they want in that rock work. So we've done that and we put equipment, we put uh, animation, we put special effects into that model so we can really do anything in the model. And that's the, that's the whole goal is to make the changes in the model before we get to the field. Now once you actually get on this ride, uh, there's very, a lot of interactivity when it comes to the queue line. Can you talk about how that has advanced over the years? Well, we want to take our, make our guests experience uh, pleasurable all, as soon as they step into the park. So we, we from, from research, we've understood that the, our, the lines were long. We wanted to make those the queues more enjoyable and make that time pass quickly. So we've taken the techno different technologies anywhere from the queue over at Dumbo, where it's just a, it's, it's, a, it's a place where kids can run and play and, uh, and uh, enjoy themselves, while they are actually in line to the crabs that we have in The Little Mermaid that are an interactive, the trash or treasure, uh, treasure hunt that uh, they want us to join in on.